get rid of birds, bats, and squirrels without harming them. Look at the end of it. Not harmful, they just hate the odor and move on to your neighbor's yard. <laughs> Isn't that nice? <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> You know him as one of our generation's favorite comedian, actor, writer, producer, and former late night television host. After grinding out stand up comedy for years, he became the host of NBC's The Tonight Show with Jay Leno from 1992 to 2009. After The Jay Leno Show was canceled in January 2010 amid a host controversy, Leno returned to host The Tonight Show with Jay Leno on March 1st, 2010. He hosted his last episode of The Tonight Show on February 6, 2014. That year, he was inducted into the Television Hall of Fame. In these videos, we don't reveal any address so please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Before he made it big, Jay Leno slept in his car and crouched in empty LA homes. As a comedian and former host of NBC's The Tonight Show, Jay Leno has enjoyed a successful and lucrative career. At the height of his time on The Tonight Show, Leno reportedly earned as much as $30 million a year, but he wasn't always bringing in steady paychecks. When Leno moved to Los Angeles in the early 1970s, the first thing he bought was a 1955 Buick Roadmaster, which he still owns today and is featured on his CNBC show Jay Leno's Garage. The car only cost him a, a, a astounding $350. However, Jay Leno still couldn't afford an apartment, so he slept in his Roadmaster. And in between nights in the car, he squatted in empty houses. I would drive around to open houses. I'd go there on a Sunday, you know, open from 12 to 4. Then around 3.30, I'd look around the house, and then I'd slam the door and duck in the closet. When the realtor locked up, I would live in the house for a couple of days. When the realtor showed up again, he'd apologize and move on to the next house, he says. I mean, I never stole anything or anything like that, but I always took care of the house, made the bed and everything. However, everything panned out for Jay Leno, as today he is known for being one of America's best clean-cut comedians and popular late-night television host. His net worth is worth a whopping $400 million, which has led to some pretty killer real estate. Hey guys, it's your boy Marlon Palmer, and we're bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. Now, I noticed 95% of you watching are just not subscribed. It's, it's unfair. So be sure to hit that subscribe button, because we post a new video daily. In this one, we'll take a look at Jay Leno and a few mentions he has called home over the years. If you like these videos, ring that bell for notifications. We've also done house tours on the likes of Jason Statham, Keith Urban, and we'll link to some at the end. Follow me on Instagram at McFly and let me know whose house tour is next in the comments down below. Let's get into the video. Jay Leno has owned a house in Beverly Hills since 1987. The five bedrooms, six bathrooms, and 6,400 square foot mansion last sold in 1987 for 2.4 million. Today it is an estimated value of 9 million with an estimated mortgage of 43,000 a month. This LA complex includes two sizable estates in Bel Air where Leno calls home, though he has a precious car collection living elsewhere. Leno purchased the uphill house at 3,400 square foot five bedroom number in 1997 and added the downhill property 10 years later, probably just for the pool. Well. Definitely for the pool. If there's one thing Jay Leno loves, it's his car collection. And that's probably also what this pad is for. This house has a six car garage that is a modern showcase complete with a high tech turntable, making backing out of the garage seem a thing of the past. Now, as impressive as his real estate portfolio is, probably his most prized possession is the Burbank garage. Away from the spotlight, Leno 66 can often be found working in the sprawling hangar, which houses about 150 cars and 170 motorcycles. And yes, he drives drives them all. Jay Leno has lived here with his wife Mavis since 1987. Meanwhile, he bought the home next door in 1987 for $55,000. Although he still lives here at his current address, which we will not reveal because it is not safe for anyone. Now comes the holy grail of homes. So captivated with Newport, Rhode Island was Jay Leno that he bought his nine acre, 14 bedroom, $13.5 million estate on the spot in 2017, totally on impulse. He claims my wife and I were driving on Ocean Drive and she said, look at that house, he recalls at the time. At the same time, a gardener happened to be exiting the gate. So Leno jokingly asked his wife if they should find out if it was for sale. Turned the car around and knocked on the door and they said it was, but it's not currently listed. So I said, get the owner on the phone and I bought it on the spot. Now, one of the reasons Leno wanted this spot was the viewing. Can you blame him? Leno claimed, you don't get water in California, not for anything less than 150 million. He bought the estate 
came fully furnished too. I didn't have to sit there and look at swatches and be like, let me see that fabric on the wall. I'm not a spontaneous purchase guy, but just living in California for the price of a condo on Wilshire Boulevard, you get a home in Rhode Island. The Newport Mansion has a whopping 14 bedrooms, 12 bathrooms, and is 15,851 square feet. While the property was last sold in 2017 for 13.5 million, it is already estimated today at $15 million. The estimated mortgage is around 71,000 a month. Since 1935, iconic Seafair has reigned over its gated oceanfront peninsula. Built to complement the curve of the East Coast, the crescent-shaped residence boats, expansive ocean views from every living space. Of sturdy rubble stone construction with limestone coins and a slate roof, Seafair has embraced every aspect of its dramatic oceanfront site for 70 years. The ground's A-gated entrance to the Long Estate Drive introduces the nine acres estate. In addition to the main house, the manicured grounds are home to an ocean-facing pool, a carriage house, expansive terraces, a walled garden, a tennis court, a six-car garage, and a beach from which to swim or kayak. The main house on the first level double steps to the formal entry hall, welcome one to the thoughtfully preserved residence. Original features include a main salon and formal dining room with Louis XVI details, a grand staircase featuring directoire style wrought iron railings, and French doors leading from the main salon to the enclosed seaside loggia. The home further benefits from an impeccable chef's kitchen that is open to informal living space, a paneled library, and a den with full bath. The upper levels are comprised of eight ensuite bedrooms, a pool room, and ample storage. The luxurious master suite amenities include a sitting room, his and her walk-in closets, an oceanfront terrace, a marble bath, and a fireplace. Seafair is served by two elevators, central air conditioning, a service kitchen, and a full-service on-demand generator. The estate originally known as Terre Mare was designed by James McKenzie Jr. for Denver mining heir Werner Zavola Reed Jr., who became the vice president of Chase Manhattan Bank and in 1981 was appointed ambassador to Morocco by President Reagan. McKenzie, a New York City-based architect noted for his residential designs, was also engaged for the 1949 Improvement Program for the Statue of Liberty. Newport, Rhode Island, just 90 minutes from Logan International Airport in Boston, 30 minutes from Quonset Airport, and three hours from Manhattan is home to numerous cultural and sporting attractions, including world-renowned jazz, folk, classical music, and film festivals, the Tennis Hall of Fame, golf, yachting, and polo. It's also packed with luxe amenities, including a carriage house, walled garden, and tennis court, floor-to-ceiling windows, bathe the home in light and provide incomparable vistas of the water below. The dwelling's curved design ensures expansive ocean views from every room. Outside, Leno and his guests can relax in the walled garden or take a dip in the ocean-facing pool. The residence also comes with access to the beach. And that's all I got for Jay Leno and where he calls home. After looking at a few of his properties, past and present, what did you guys think? Be sure to rate his homes in the comments down below. I gotta say, who's scared about living in LA when you can have your own castle in Rhode Island? I would rate it an 8 out of 10 from what I can see. Thank you guys so much for viewing. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram at that dude McFly, and I'll catch you guys next video.